<laughs> Rich, no, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> no, no. We good. We good. We good. All right, I'll switch it up. Switch it up. <laughs> oh, my God. I, hey, no, you going to get the blood. Rich, you got to stay. You got to stay. You get the blood. You get, you get this one. We cool. Hey, Rich. On, on a serious note, though. And again, if you don't want to respond, it's fine. Listen, every time Axe says that, it's never serious. Nope. I see shit and be like, yo, people, home invasion is entered. Are you good? We've seen rappers. No, Rich, don't walk off. Come back. Come back. Nah, come back, Rich. Rich, come back. Come back. He left for real? He he uh he walked off. Now it's important just to provide a little bit of back content uh content to that. Now, Rich the Kid did say in advance prior to the interview that look, man, there's just certain things that I don't want to talk about. My relationship with Interscope, TMZ things, because that you know alluded to what academics was trying to get to. Academics doing his job trying to interview the artists. He still asked the questions, but if you have a conversation prior to lights, camera, action, and then the person says, hey, I don't want to talk about these things, and then you bring it up anyways, what do you do as the interviewee? I mean, you could always say no comment, but I feel like it's a sign of disrespect. I told you in advance, I don't want to talk about this, and then you brought it up anyways. And then I was about to leave. And then you told me to sit back down and you brought it up again. Right. Right. So I think like I, I'll, I'll let you spill, but I just want to just point this out. Like I've sat down with people before and interviewed them like street dudes and mm -hmm. I, stuff that I didn't even know about because I don't follow that shit. They'll be like, hey, I don't want to talk about this, 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 like real street shit. Right. Am I insane? Would I bring that up? No. One out of respect Two out of, I don't want to get shot behind the scenes. So why would I do that? Here is what, this is what we're talking about, right? He says, I don't want to talk about these things. He brings it up anyways. Naturally, of course, he walks off. So I have two questions for you, of course, being an artist. Um, if you were to sit down for an interview and then you have this red tape, yellow tape, whatever you want to call it, don't ask me these questions. And then you get asked that question. How do you respond as an artist? Okay, right. let me answer that first. What? Let me answer okay. that. Let me answer that first. Let me answer that first. So one thing that I'm gonna remember, and and Rich the Kid actually didn't do that bad of a job, is at the end of the day, I am a brand and there's money to be made. The way I feel and the way I need to act when I'm on camera are two totally different things, right? So I know me personally as an artist, if they were to ask me the questions that I specifically said don't ask, I'm gonna give you a face, I'm gonna give you a look, definitely. And then I'm going to say, listen, I told you I don't want to speak about this before, man. This is not one of the topics I came here to discuss. If this is what you want to talk about, I can leave. In case y'all didn't know, YouTube is not our biggest fan. They be showing our videos to some people. Sometimes they don't. Some people get notifications. Some people don't. And you know what? It's because we like to speak our opinion on this. Two guys doing a podcast podcast. We got two very unique opinions every single time. So what we need you to do is we need you to drop a like, okay? I'm going to need you to drop a like, okay? It's going to help the algorithm, help our page get seen, help people hear our opinions, okay? Let's break the YouTube code. Drop a like right now, all right? Let's get back to the video. If not, then we can continue the interview. I'm going to address it straight up and head on and, and in your face and let people know that you are this type of person if that's what we want to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's What's actually that's a great response. Now, as a media personality, because you want to wear that hat as well. Right. This is the flip side now. You also know that people in the Internet world, social media world, they want you here for a reason. You, you came watch. here for a reason. I so know. now, do you still ask those questions? I know the questions that the people want to ask. If, if the if the artist is somebody who comes to me and is somebody, I got to think long term, right? We got to think long term. Let's say it's for the podcast right here and an artist comes on and they're a big, big name and they interview us and they say there's things that that they don't want to talk about. And one of the things that they don't want to talk about is probably the, the major, the biggest scandal that's going on that has everybody talking about them. And we know that if people click on this thing that they want to hear 
that question. Me personally, I'm thinking long-term, I'm thinking business. I'm not asking that question. I'm finding other things to discuss that could be as interesting, if not more interesting for people to come for that type of discussion. If you want to get that, you want to get the fuckery, you can go somewhere else and get the fuckery. You can come here, you can get some interesting dialogue with an artist that we're, we have on for a, a, a different reason. And the reason I'm doing that is simply because I understand how relationships work, how networking works. I don't know, I may offend this one artist and they may be connected to somebody else who's connected to somebody else. And now I'm not getting no more, we not getting no more guests on this podcast. And I'm not getting any interviews because of because of what I asked. So that's a great answer. Um, I mentioned earlier that I've experienced that. And what I told the artist was, I was okay, I didn't know about that, but if it's something that I did know about, and that I wanted to ask, I would let the artist know like, hey, you know, I also have a brand that I have to protect and that right. I have to, you know what I mean, put out to the people. And my brand is to ask those difficult questions. I understand that you don't want to have that conversation, but are you OK with me at least asking and then you saying decline or whatever you want to say? Because right, right, my right. my audience needs to know. At least it looked like you attempted. Right. That, exactly. So that's and then smart. That's and then if, smart. Yeah, if they're okay with that, then we move on forward. I just think this was really unprofessional of academics. And a lot of people think that he's messy, but there is a there 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 is a genius to his madness. That's why people keep coming back to him. So if he knew that he was gonna do this anyways, I don't see why you, you know have to he, understand who you're going to when you're when you're getting interviewed. It's just, it's as simple as that. You have to understand what type of interview you're going to. People who go to Vlad they need to understand what type of interview you're going into. People who go to DJ Academics, they need to understand what type of... People who go to, to Adin Ross, you need to understand what type of interview you're going to be going into. You understand? So just understand the interviewer. It's As, as much as it's the, the, the interviewer's job to, to, to research the person that they're about to interview, it's also that person's job to research the person they're about to be interviewed by. Well, viewing public, I want to know what your thoughts are. I did not watch the entire clip because I'm just not interested. I don't think DJ Academics is a good interviewer. I think there was a lot of dead silence, but yo, that boy's set is is money. Dope. Yeah, I, that I, boy's I, set is money. I, I think but his I dialogue can, is yeah, it's is trash. Primitive. I, I think he's a great like vlogger, and you know, like when he's just talking, I'm entertained. But interviewing, horrible. But that's my thoughts. What are yours? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Look, yo, thanks for watching that video, making it all the way to the end. You made it this far. You have to like. Please subscribe and comment on the video as well. Join the conversation. Absolutely, we finally hit our goal of 500 subscribers. Yes, yes we are trying to get to a thousand, and Whee! we can only do that with your help. You can start by watching that next video. You see that tiny little icon? Click on that icon, rinse and repeat. Deuces. Deuces.